How's it going everybody? Welcome to another video, a new setting, a new angle from here on the office. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Finally, I had the time to do it. So get used to this because I think this is better. It's more in keeping with the videos that I used to do before where I like to kind of like stand, walk around, move around instead of sitting in a chair. Now, for today's video, we are going to look at something that you guys kind of have been uh, asking me for a while, which is show me more about Unreal, animation, setup, and all that goodness. So today, we're gonna start by showing you guys LiveLink. And LiveLink is this incredible, incredible piece of plugin that actually lives within Maya, but talks to Unreal and allows you to kind of like basically see whatever is in Maya camera, character, animation, to see it in Unreal, right? So it's actually really, really cool. There's a whole lot of benefits to this. And I'm gonna to explain to you guys exactly why this is beneficial to all those that wanna be a gameplay animator. So let's jump into the computer and then I'll show you guys more about LiveLink. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> here we are. Um, you can see that I have my Maya open, I have a scene open, and um, you guys have seen this before if you've been following the channel for a little bit. Uh, it's a piece of mocap that he is basically kind of like going over an object and then hiding behind it. The animation is not so important here because, um, you know, it's just basically an animation that we're gonna end up uh, exporting to uh, Unreal but it's just so you guys can see that there is a piece of content and you wanna actually add it to Unreal some way, somehow. Now, the new live link will be found under File, Unreal Live Link. Now, disclaimer, live link actually uh, existed for a while now, right? So I think it, it's been about a couple of years that live link has been around, but not really looking this way. So I have used it before and it's incredibly powerful, but now I think that Autodesk is actually kind of like adding a lot of development time to make sure that LifeLink looks and works as good as possible. They're in partnership with you with Epic and they are working uh, to make this as seamless as possible, right? So we have a two-way talk between Maya and Unreal. Now, the way it used to work previously is that basically Maya can speak to Unreal, but Unreal cannot speak back to Maya, right? So this is something that they're working on. Um, I'm going to show you the one-way route that we have currently, but just know that more things, more updates, more excitement is coming to a, a live link, and you can keep it locked for more. Now, here is uh, the window of live link, and I have here behind Unreal. In Unreal, you also have a live link setting. So here, and this is by default in Unreal right now, if you click on it, you'll get a window that also gives you a live link. Now, how do you connect both windows, right? Now, if you go back to Maya, if you open your outliner, um, you have to select the objects that you wanna add to your live link. So in this case, it's this guy, the rig, right? So you actually grab the main node of the rig um, just here on, a, on the outliner, and then you click add selection. Now that is actually added to the live link. And then we will also add a camera at a later stage so you can see something else. But for now, it's just the rig, that's it. Now, if you go back to Unreal, you will see that I need to first and foremost add source so it can connect both windows, right? So if you collect add source and select message bus source, you'll see that this little thing popped up because Unreal now knows that Maya has that window open and is listening to that incoming call. Now, if you click on it, you'll see that straight away it added what I had in that window, which means that things are connected. If you go back to Maya, you'll see that here on the top right where it said disconnected, now it says connected. So they're talking to each other, beautiful, awesome stuff, right? Now, in Unreal, you have to do a few things in order to make sure that things work as you intended. So the very first thing is you need to uh, basically import your uh, FBX, the rig that you have. So it doesn't matter what rig it is, we're using the Red 9 Puppet for this demo, but it can be the mannequin, whatever you wanna use, you can actually, you have to uh, import it into Unreal. 
Okay, so now I selected the live link folder that I want with the rig that I want to actually import. This is the rig, so it's an FBX. I want to import that and I want to make sure that I leave everything um, by default and then import. This is going to import into a folder that I created called live link demo. So now we have a rig or a model or a puppet inside this the inside Unreal. And if I actually double click it, you can see that you know the puppet is here, uh, is on TV, is in a pose right now as we want it. In order for you to get your uh, animations into your rig, um, you basically need to uh, get your rig and just drag it into your scene. So right now I just drag that into my scene. Look at him, looks really cool, looking nice, looking great, right? Um, the very first thing that you're gonna do uh, to actually connect that animation to this rig is basically set up a very simple blueprint that will basically tell Unreal that now that we're listening to Lifelink, that there is an animation being played on this, on this, um, on this rig, right? So if you actually right click anywhere here in your content browser, and then you actually go animation, animation blueprint, uh, it will open this window here. Now I wanna select this uh, as my target skeleton. So if I press okay, my animation blueprint is here. I need to give it a name, something specific. So in this case, I'm just gonna like uh, say live link demo uh, BP, or I should say BP live link demo, but you know, we're just doing this for ourselves. Now, if I double click on this uh, on this blueprint, um, this little window shows up. Let me just resize it so you guys can see the whole thing. Um, so this little guy shows up um, and then you have to basically, this is basically where the animation is gonna play. So you need to create a note here that is called live link. So if you actually just search for live link, you will have a note here called live link post. Double click it and then live link post shows up, this node, that's cool. Now you're gonna grab this guy here in the end, stretch it and then connect it to result. And then on this subject name, you're gonna select red nine puppet rig. So as soon as you do that, everything is connected correctly and as you should. Before you close this window, you have to click compile. Now as you see, things are kind of flowing really, really, really well. Now close this window and you can blow away this guy and basically just drag the blueprint instead to your scene. Now, if you zoom out, uh, you'll see that there's a fellow right there at the bottom that is basically um, static at this point in time. You need to do one thing before you do anything else. Uh, you need to rotate this 90 degrees this way. Uh, and the reason why is mainly because uh, Maya by default is Y up and Unreal is Z up, right? So this is why you have to ro rotate at 90 degrees. There's different ways of going about it. You can actually send your, change your settings in Maya to be Z up all the time. If I was actually working on a project and I have plenty of animations to actually go back and forth. But in this case, it's just the one animation. I don't wanna mess up my Maya settings. I wanna make sure that for this one animation, rotate at 90, Bob's your uncle. Now the animation is set where I want it to be. Now, at this point in time, there's no connection whatsoever. And you'll notice that if I actually change, like get these guys to be next to each other the best way possible. Now you'll see that like if I move my Maya here, nothing is, is changing in Unreal, right? And what should happen is that you should see the animation scrolling at the same time, the animation playing at the same time, but it's not. So it means that something is missing. So the only thing that I have to do in order to connect the two is basically go to add component right here and then search for live link and then select live link skeleton animation. You will see that it updates correctly. Uh, still, there's no animation. So that's one step that you're missing. And that's basically if you click on live link uh, demo instance and then on search details, which basically searches all the categories on here, you search for update, right? you're gonna have one little tick box that you're gonna have to, um, to address, which is update animation in editor. As soon as you actually tick that, notice that the animation changed in Unreal. And then when I actually scrub my Maya, 
my Unreal is actually scrubbing at the same time, which is actually pretty magical to me at least, right? So if I press play, the same thing happens, it's really, really cool. And the best thing is because it's an engine and because it's running at 60 frames a second, um, it's actually smoother in my Unreal right now, I don't know if you can see it, than it is in my Maya. Uh, because of you know being 60 frames per second, which is amazing, right? Now you can add extra things to this if you like. So for example, I can actually add a camera to make sure that I can then, like if I rotate my camera here in Maya, nothing is really changing in Unreal. Now you can add extra things, extra layers of detail to your live link to make sure that they see that they translate to Unreal. So. I haven't really added anything else except for the rig. So what I'm gonna do is basically go back to uh, my life link window here in Unreal and my life link window in Maya. And you'll see that, you know, at the moment, Red9 Puppet Rig is there because I've added it here. But if I add anything else to my Maya, it will show up here automatically like this, right? It's like one-to-one. -one. Now you can add a bunch of stuff to Lifelink to make sure that it starts popping into your Unreal. If you have different characters, different cameras, it's really, really cool um, as you go through. Now, you need to connect this to Unreal in order to be able to see it, because once again, I just added the camera, but I really don't see it. And that's mainly because in my Unreal, there's no cameras for me to kind of connect one to the other. So if I go back to my Unreal and uh, on Place Actors, I select a camera and I place my camera right there, uh, which is really cool, right there. So that is now connected. So now that we actually have the camera here and you know the camera, you can see here what the camera is doing, I need to add the component again to uh, the camera of Lifelink. We already connected, so it should be fine. So I'm just gonna like go ahead and add a Lifelink controller to the camera. Now, the last thing that I need to do after adding the Lifelink co link component is basically select right here on subject representation, my game cam. And you'll see that actually just starts representing the game. And, and if I move my camera now, I can see what my animation is doing one-to-one. -one, which is actually quite neat, right? You can actually add that camera as being your default and now not only do you have your animation playing live in Unreal, but you also have your cameras kind of like moving around as you wish. So this is ex extra awesome if you have a game cam that is following your character like this, right? As the animation is happening, you, and you can get to see how it looks in game as you go through. Now you have to change the setting of the camera and all that good stuff, but this is basically how you get one-to-one -one between Maya and Unreal. And that is basically the practicality of having Lifelink in your Maya. Now, let me tell you guys about some examples in gameplay on why you need to use it and why it's so awesome. Let's do it. Now, as you can see, Lifelink is pretty incredible. Now, in-game development, this is extra awesome because, as you know, engines are incredibly good at doing the simulations of a lot of stuff for free. They are so powerful that you can have cloth, hair, dynamic joints, anything that you want on top of your animations, and you can play it all real time and it looks amazing. And this is why Lifelink is so awesome to actually work with when you are in games because you can have your animation bare bones in Maya as I showed you, right? With your camera, you can press play, you can edit your animations, and then you can see the results that are gonna be final in game, pretty much, in engine. This is especially important when you are towards the end of production and you're about to ship a game and everything has already been kind of like added and in terms of beauty and cloth and, and physics and stuff. And all of a sudden, somebody asks you to do an edit on an animation. Um, maybe it's a furry coat, right? Or maybe it's some braids or whatever it is. If those joints or if those um, garments are dynamic, it's very difficult for you to see it because normally in Maya, you don't really get to see the dynamic bits moving along, right? So you can use Live Link to actually edit that animation to make sure that actually makes the most out of the dynamics in engine. So now you're seeing both at the same time and it looks really, really cool 
and you get the most out of the animation in game. So this is why Life Link is so cool. I'm super happy that Autodesk is updating it. I'm happy that they are talking Epic and Autodesk in how to make this better because this for gameplay animation is incredibly powerful. And I think he adds another tool to your roster as an animator in gameplay. And that's all I had for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks a lot for my supporters in Patreon that kind of like support me every single month. If you guys are interested in knowing more, make sure you head over to Patreon, check some of my perks. There's a lot of interesting things there. Now I cannot forget also to mention that I have a Discord and now I'm trying to actually put my effort into building that community. It's about 140 of us already. So make sure you join me over there as well if you actually want to have maybe your animations reviewed or want to talk some animation, you know what I mean? So go ahead, join my Discord, check out my Patreon. And most importantly, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell button, and I shall see you on the next one. Until then, stay well, stay safe. Peace.